Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so uh, I have a question with me here. This is a cubic function exam question, and it came in 2017. All right, so uh, there are a few things we need to understand as we are working with this question, or this, uh, or we try to solve this question. One of the things uh, is uh, we need to know the lines. What do each line mean here? So, uh, what can help us understand what each line mean over here on this graph paper is the number which is here and the number which is here. Also, the number here and here. So, each line here, since this is 10, so each line is equal to uh, 1. Okay, so here it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is also equal to uh, 1, okay? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, negative 10, okay? So these are negative numbers dropping somewhere here. And to the right side, looking at the number which is here, and the we have 10 lines, okay, in each box, this big box. We have 10 lines going this way. So it means this is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then 1 here. So even to the negative side, the same thing is happening. All right, so let's try to jump in our first question over here. So our first question, they have said we use this graph, okay? Our cubic function has been graphed already for us. We use it to find the solutions of these two equations. So let's start with the first one. The first one here, uh, K, says x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. All right, so if we can see nicely this cubic function and what has been given or what we have graphed here, this over here is the same as what we've just put. So we know that y is equal to this stuff. So this thing is a y. I've written y which is equal to zero, okay? So we have uh, this equation, and we need to graph this equation. So, uh, let me try to draw something here. So our negative one is here, one, two, three. Uh, negative two, negative three over here. And here we have... Uh, negative 10, negative 20, here 10, and uh, 20. This is y-axis and this is x-axis. I'm just trying to put this graph so that we can see what is happening. So it moves like this. Oh, oh, oh. it's cutting on 1, and then on negative 1, and then drops on, on uh, or negative 3 so uh, this equation this y is equal to 0 it's over here this is y is equal to 0 okay so we know that this is negative 10 and this is 10 so it passes in between only 0 this is 0 so it's y is equal to what to to uh, y is equal to 0 and since we have managed to graph this line. We see where this curve is cutting. Where is it cutting on the value of, 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 of OX? So it's cutting here, and here, and here. So where it's cutting, it's cutting on three points. And all these points are, uh, are, are solutions to, 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 to this equation over here. So it cuts on X is equal to 1 here 
x is equal to negative 1 over here and x is equal to negative 3 over here so these are the solutions so let's try to see the picture the way it looks so if you can see nicely or if you're able to see it cuts we know that this is our y is equal to 0 and it cuts here x is equal to 1 here it's negative 1 here it's negative 3 so these are the three solutions okay let's jump on number two so let me clean a little bit all right so for number two where we need to find this one which says x is equal to or x plus uh, x cubed plus 3x squared minus x is equal to 5. So, uh, what happens here is, uh, is this. If you're able to see nicely what is here and what is here, it's quite different. Okay? So, this equation looks a little bit different from what we have over here, this here. There is a th negative 3 missing. So what do we do here? We subtract negative 3 or we make it look like it, this one. So we say x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. This 3 is equal to 5 minus 3. So we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So now it will look like this. This 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is the stuff. This is how it will look like. So what we need to graph is y is equal to 2. So we need to graph y is equal to 2. If you can see this stuff over here is the same as this stuff. So we can say y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2. Uh, okay, it will, it, will, it will be it will be it will be here. Let me use my rule so that we can see nicely. We know that our 2 is here. Since this is 0, 1, 2, our 2 is somewhere here. So you put your rule and then check. Okay, where is it cutting? It's cutting here. And uh, here also here. Okay. So I've put the points where it's cutting. It's cutting. Because this is 1, 0, 1, 2. It's cutting here, here, here. So this is, uh, this is in short, this is the equation. I mean, this is, uh, this is a line of the equation for y is equal to 2. It's, uh, it's like this. This is y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2. So you get the values of x where the graph is intersecting, okay? Is intersecting with the line y is equal to 2 so it's here where it's cutting is here here and here so what is what are, what are the values of x so the value of x somewhere here x is equal to uh, k we know that this is 1 1.1 uh, 1.2 so x is equal to 1.2 again here we know that this is 1 let me use let me use this so that we can see. We know that this is uh, this is one, okay, one point uh, one, one point two, point three, point four, point five. So the value of x is x is equal to one point five. So these are the solutions. One more solution: x is equal to here, where it's cutting somewhere here. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, two point one point two point three point four point five point six. It's two point six. The value of x is two point six. So these are the solutions. So the solutions for for b as <coughs> we uh, we have, we have found them. 
<coughs> excuse me <coughs> all right so for number two we are asked to calculate the gradient or to calculate an estimate of the gradient of the curve at a point so you the point we have here is uh, negative uh, three comma comma zero so we have to be very careful on this one we need to find a point or check where is negative three uh, negative three comma comma zero it's here this is where negative three comma zero is here so what you do you get your rule and make a tangent line touching the point don't let it move along the the the, the graph make sure it just touches where the point is so it's like this so when you make that tangent line get the get the coordinates so we know here it's a negative let me write here somewhere here it's negative three comma zero or i just write here negative three comma zero it's here and then here we know it's a negative two comma uh, comma ten so you can get the coordinates you can even get the ones here you can get here you can get it but you just need two pairs of coordinates so i've gotten this and this after that we we know i guess i guess you know the formula for finding a gradient so the formula for finding the gradient will be y uh, m is equal to y 2 minus y 1 over x2 minus x1 so this is the formula for finding the gradient and we have two coordinates we have uh, we have two pairs of coordinates we have 2 comma 10 and uh, negative 3 sorry negative 2 comma 10 negative 3 comma 0 so we have these two we can use them to find the gradient so the gradient it will be it will be uh, okay. We will we, we say this is our x1 and y1. This is our x2 and y2. So we plug them in our equation or our formula. So in our formula, we say what is our y2? y2 is 0 minus what is our y1? is 10 over what is our what is our x2? Uh, x2 is a uh, negative three this one and our x uh x1 i mean x yeah x1 over here is negative two so when we work out this we have uh, we have uh, negative 10 over this will be three over here it's negative three plus two which is equal to uh, negative 10 over negative 1 and our answer will be equal to 10 so the gradient over this curve is equal to 10 at this point thank you we jump on the next question which is finding the area bounded by the curve so we have these regions I mean these um, points or these equations and we need to find the area bounded by these uh, equations so what we basically do is we get our equations so x is equal to 0 where is x is equal to 0 let me use my red ink x is equal to 0 it's here this is x is equal to 0 over here and then we go to uh, y is equal to 0 so this is x is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 is over here. y is equal to 0. And then uh, x is equal to, I mean y is equal to 20. y is equal to 20 is somewhere here. So we need to find the area bounded by this region over here
so the area bounded by this region can be calculated like this you get the boxes okay you see so we need to find the area bounded by this region over here so region passes like oh, and then we follow the cave here here like this so we we'll use the idea of uh, the idea of, uh, of, uh, of 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 shapes. I mean, using uh, we we'll follow the idea of using the shapes. So we know these are rectangles inside. So this box is a rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. So we'll find area of one rectangle. So area of one rectangle in this case, we know the formula for a rec uh, rectangle is L times B. This is area when we want to find area. So our length, we'll check the box. One box, let's get this one. We get this box, and then we say this box is from zero. We want to find the length is from zero to one. So our our length is one times our breadth is from zero to ten. We write breadth is ten. So area of one box is equal to ten. That's the area of one box. So now, in this region, how many boxes do we have in this region? How many boxes do we have? So we have boxes, full, uh, like we have uh, complete boxes. They are how many? They are one, two, three, four, five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Even this one is a complete box. This one, because the region is like this. Let me let me let me use this ink so that we can see nicely what we're talking about. The region is like this, where the cave passes up to here, here, like this, like this. So now we have finished boxes. This, this one, this one, complete boxes. This one, this one, and this one so how many complete boxes do you have one two three four five six we have six complete boxes so we'll say six times ten which is equal to sixty so sixty is the area of these six boxes now we have uh, two unfinished is it three three unfinished uh, or incomplete boxes there is this one this one and this one so what we do to the uh, unfinished uh, or incomplete boxes we, we add them how many are they they are three you divide by two which is equal to 1.5 so now this 1.5 you multiply it by 10 okay area of one complete box which is equal to 15 so this 15 is the area of these chopped boxes like this one and this one this one so what we do we get area of the complete boxes plus area of the uh, incomplete boxes we add them so 60 plus 15 is equal to 5 7 is equal to 75 so the area bounded by these or this uh, these equation, uh, equations is 75 75 units square or square units square units thank you very much for watching watch more videos subscribe to my youtube channel uh, where you're not clear you are free to use my whatsapp line and ask more questions. Thank you.